Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to divide by powers of 10. Before you watch this video, I'd recommend that you watch two other videos. Those videos are dividing by 10, 100, 1000, etc. and indices. Okay, let's start off by looking at powers of 10. So we've got 10 squared. Remember, 10 squared is 10 times 10, and 10 times 10 is 100. 10 cubed is 10 times 10 times 10, so 10 times 10 is 100 times 10 is 1000. 10 to the power of 4, we'll ask 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, well that's going to be 1 followed by 4 zeros. Notice whenever it's squared, there's 2 zeros, cubed, there's 3 zeros, 10 to the power of 4, there's 4 zeros. 10 to the power of 5, so that was 10,000, 10 to the power of 5, it's going to be 1 with 5 zeros. Notice that's then 100,000, okay, and so on. So whenever you're dealing with a division with a power of 10, so for instance, if you had 800 divided by 10 squared, what I would do is change this 10 squared into 100, so you would get 800 divided by 100. And from the division by 10, 100, 1000 video, you'll see how to do that, but you just take off two zeros whenever you're dividing by 100, so the answer would be 8. Let's have a look at some other examples now. So here's two typical questions for division by powers of 10. We've got 5200 divided by 10 squared. So 10 squared is 100, so you get 5200 divided by 100. Dividing by 100, you take off two zeros, so that would give you then 52. 420,000 divided by 10 cubed, well 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000, so you've got 420,000 divided by 1,000. Whenever you divide by 1,000, you take off three zeros, so 1, 2, 3, so your answer would be 420. Okay, let's have a look at two more examples. Okay, so we've got 315 divided by 10 squared. So first of all, you work out your 10 squared, so you're going to get 315 divided by 100. And then remember, whenever you divide by 100, if it doesn't end in zeros, you move the decimal place twice to the left. So the decimal point is here, so we're going to move it twice to the left, so 1, 2. So the answer would be 3.15. And finally, 100 divided by 10 cubed. Well, 10 cubed is 1,000, so you're going to get 120 divided by 1,000. So that means you're going to move the decimal place three places to the left. So at the end of the number here, we're going to move three places. So 1, 2, 3. Three, so it's going to go to the front of the number. So the answer would be 0 0.12. You could, if you want to, include the zero at the end of the number, but remember, a zero at the end of a decimal number, there's no point in writing it. So you could just write 0 0.12. 0 0.120 would be acceptable, but I, I would prefer it like that. 